Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for episode 6 of my Let's Play Undertale series. We just got done dealing with dog marriage and got through a super easy puzzle that Papyrus laid out for us. So we are now here, seems like the base of a snow dog. It looks like we got a bunch of snow dogs. It's the broken head of a snow dog. <laughs> it's the broken head of another snow dog. The base of a snow dog. Okay, so this is immediately reminding me of the dog that we pet a whole bunch last episode. <laughs> that was so hilarious. On the floor inside is a box of palm palm raisins. Okay. Broken head of a snow dog. Let's go ahead and save this right here, knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Ah, <laughs> oh, right on. It's down here. It's the broken head of another snow dog. Oh, who are you? A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. It, it was that exact dog. Nice. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer until I added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Well, gotta work out your base, man. Let's see what we got down here. It's a snow papyrus. Oh, right on. And a sands rock. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this puzzle, let's see if we can get it. Okay, I think I figured it out. One, two, three. Just like a clock, right? Oh. Uh, I didn't know that you could go diagonal. It's okay. Straight across, down, left, and up, right, right, down, left, up. Perfect! We made it! Yay! I'm gonna slide right into the next area. There's no turning back. Yeah, let's see what's down here. Oh, hey! What's up, Sans? Hey. What's up? Oh god. Uh, spider things, I think. That's creepy. Say, hey, weren't you just back there? Are you following me? Ooh. Gif. Gift rot confronts you. Uh oh. Um. Undecorate? You move the barbed wire. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. Oh, okay, so you're like bogged down, kind of. Slightly less irritated. Okay. I decorate it. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. I was starting to trust you! Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Ah. Looks disappointed. Undecorate. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Sorry, dude. Okay, so he wants me to take the stuff off of him, I guess. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. That's a little better. Ah! Looks disappointed. You remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted! Oh, looks like we can spare him now. Yay! 20 gold, Woot. Are you still back here? You are still back here. You sure do like to exercise? Are you lost? Man. You sure do like to exercise. Back and forth and back and forth. Let's see what this is. Oh. Music change. Oh, we got a door. It's a door. Okay. Oh. Some combination of these things. Door. Eh. Uh. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to figure it out. Oh, geez. Apparently, you can kind of talk to the... Whatever the heck those things are. <laughs> What's up? Not much, Sans. Not much. What do we got? It's a snow puff. Cool. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. And this is a snow puff. Okay. This, however, is a snow puff. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. <laughs> snow puff. Yeah. Is it really a snow puff? Should be. Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 3G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. <laughs> oh, that snow puff grew a tail. And it's a dog. What's up, puppy? How you doing? Oh, geez. It's the greater dog. Um, looks kind of beefy. Looks pretty dang beefy. Let's play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, Greater Dog is watching you intently. Uh, pet? Greater Dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Uh, ow! Greater Dog is waiting for your command. Beckon, you call the Greater Dog. It bounds towards you. Fucking slobber into your face. Ah! Uh, Greater Dog is seeking affection. Pet? Greater Dog curls up in your lap as it sits, as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited! Ah, No good. No good. We've got our first death. You cannot give up just yet. Chun, stay determined. I mean, I guess I really should have used, like, the spider donut or something, right? Oh, jeez, I gotta do this again. Well, messed it up. <laughs> messed it up. Alright. Go to the right, and the right again. And down, to the left. Same solution. Ah! I walked a little bit too far. Dang it, no! <laughs> Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Yay! And button. The button. Sweet. And away we go. Alrighty. Continue on. All of the snow puffs. Go ahead and. It's a snow puff. Dog. You and your spears and stuff. Bark, bark. Yeah, come on. Come get wrecked. You know you wanna. It's the greater dog. Beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Flecking slobber into your face. Ah. And pet. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. And then wakes up and it's super excited. There we go. Act play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. The greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Nice. It is now very tired. It rests its head upon you. Okay. Ah! Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Want some TLC, whatever that means. Play again? Greater Dog is too tired to play. Ah! Want some TLC. Pet again? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight on you. That looks heavy. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. 
Uh, very slow. Pet capacity is 40%. Pet. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Greater dog is contended. Pet again. Tummy rubs are forbidden. Ah. Uh, Greater dog is contended. Let's try one more time. Tummy rubs are forbidden. So no tummy rubs. Sorry, puppy. Spare. Yay. Zero XP and 40 gold. What's up, puppy? Ah, What a cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We've reached, we've reached a bridge. Uh-oh. There's a camera underneath the bridge. Man, somebody's watching me. It's like the third camera I found. Here we go. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh, jeez. That is some deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will be swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! <laughs> do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair. <laughs> and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes! Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, dude. I do not know about that. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, well... I can try. Oh, hey. Welcome to Snowden. <laughs> so Toby Fox, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but he did a Earthbound Halloween hack and was uh, pretty famous for it, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of this game is actually modeled after Earthbound. You can tell from the town name, Snowden. Like, you know, one at two Psalm, three and four side. Let's see here. Save! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Indeed it does. Shop. Hello, traveler! How can I help you? Uh, well, let's see what you got for sale. I already have a tough glove. I do not have a manly bandana yet, though. It has abs on it. What? Bicycle. Heals 11 HP, eat it twice. Cinnabon. Okay, well, we're gonna have to utilize a box. Sir, do we have a box nearby? Yes, we do. Look at that. Use the box? Why, yes, please. Um, well, the pie is full HP heal, so I definitely don't need that. I haven't even seen what the snowman piece does yet, so... Why don't we look at that, actually? Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. So I'm gonna assume that's like a quest type of thing, even though it's a healing item, technically. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the box as well. See if we can sell our old equipment. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? <laughs> I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and you bandages, I'd be our business in a jiffy. <laughs> Hello there, traveler. How can I help you? <laughs> <coughs> well, uh, since I can't sell stuff, what would you like to buy? Um, manly bandana, please. Yes. Thanks for your purchase! <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get a cinnamon bun. 
Thanks for your purchase. Let's see, talk. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did y'all come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Say, say hello again. Same duh, same stuff. What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbiz has some food. And the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and acidded themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I just came from there, so... Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but... We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? I guess so. Well, thanks for all of your help. Come again sometime. Let's see, go ahead and equip our manly bandana. So we cannot sell our stuff. That's kind of a bummer. Use the box. Let's get rid of our old equipment then, I suppose. There we go. In. Let's see what we got here. Welcome to the Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is A to G. Stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Ooh. Those ghosts. Oh, jeez. They're making music. Um, that's gotta have some kind of relevance. Hiya! You look like you've had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're gonna stay overnight. <laughs> uh, right on. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Oh, wait, what's maximum HP? Uh, jeez. 30, look at that. <laughs> don't want, don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. But then I'd miss talking to all the cool people. That lady over there, something about here disturbs me. Really? Well, isn't, isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee. Bun 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 bun. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. I actually helped that guy. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents under a decorated tree. So they actually tie the mon the uh, random monsters into the story sometimes. That's kind of cool. Yo, you're a kid too, right? So you're a kid. I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> yeah, I guess. There you go. It's a carefully de de decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. A couple flowers. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> okay then, we got grill bees right here. Ooh. Hey look, there's a lot of the people that I fought. Cool beans. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. Same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot gas. <laughs> oh god, you look scary. 
Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I love to try sometimes. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. <laughs> okay, Mr. Shades wearing guy. Hey, we're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, "Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please." <laughs> yeah, careful. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I put on a line. I put out a line for some girls today. Some someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm telling I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out with a fish. Okay. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder at all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grillby's said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Cause, get it? Because he's a fire guy? Ah, the jukebox is broken. It doesn't sound like it's broken. It sounds like it's working just fine, actually. Alright, well, moving on. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. We all know that the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? Well, we can't do anything, so why be morose about it? True. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring this video to a close right here. Probably starting to run a bit long on time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode.